Hi, my name is Alexander Schätzle from the University of Freiburg. In this screencast, I will shortly introduce our PicSparkle project, which is a Sparkle query processing system on top of MapReduce. So at first, there's an open discussion whether the semantic web will be the next evolution of the World Wide Web or not. So what we observed, in fact, in last years is a rapid increase of available semantic data. An example is the linking open data cloud, growing from 12 data sets in 2007, over 89 data sets in 2009, uh, to nearly 300 data sets in 2011, comprising a total of more than 31 billion RDF triples. But the question from this, what arises is of how to process these RDF data at this scale, especially how to answer Sparkle queries, as Sparkle is the standard query language for RDF. On the other side, single place systems are rather limited in scale, and specialized distributed RDF systems are only worth the effort if you have to continuously deal with RDF data at an enormous size. So our approach is to reuse existing infrastructures for distributed data processing. And in the area of big data, that MapReduce has become one of the de facto standards in recent years, with Hadoop being the most prominent ecosystem. That's uh, why we want to, to uh, place our system on top of Hadoop. But if you look at more carefully at MapReduce and Hadoop, then you see that MapReduce means writing a lot of code, especially Java code, and you have to reinvent the wheel because common operations like filters and joins do not exist out of the box. So this is low level, it is code intensive, it is time consuming and it's also error prone. Or in other words, you should be a Java developer. So in order to make life easier for data analysts, that's why Yahoo introduced the high level data analysis language for Pig Latin that gets automatically translated into a series of MapReduce jobs. So this opens up Hadoop for uh, non-programmers. It's more natural for data analysts, and compared to MapReduce, what we can see is that you need much less code to do the same things, and you need much less development time. But again, still the problem is, when it comes to RDF, is that Pig Latin and Sparkle are quite different, because Pig Latin is an imperative language, where Sparkle is more declarative, it's similar to SQL. So, so for RDF data analysts, it's more natural to write the queries in Sparkle than in Pig Latin. But the good news is that we can express every Sparkle operator by an equivalent sequence of pig Latin expressions. And that's exactly what our pig Sparkle system does. So uh, the input to our system is a Sparkle query given by the user. This query is then passed to generate the Sparkle algebra tree where we also apply some of the general optimizations like filter pushing or reordering by selectivity to, in order to make the query more efficient. And finally, we generate a corresponding pig Latin program that we can execute using the pig framework on every Hadoop cluster out of the box. So the major benefits of our late approach compared to native MapReduce implementation is that we get an automatic translation of Sparkle queries in contrast to the low-level and also error-prone implementation in native MapReduce. And we do not have to reinvent the wheel over and over again as Pig Latin has support for some common operations like joins and filters. And also an important thing is that we profit from optimizations and refinements of Pig. Uh, what we observed in fact in our experiments is an order of magnitude speed up when switching the Pig version from 0.5 to 0.11 without having to change anything in our own system. And also an important uh, issue is that Pig copes with version changes of Hadoop. So our implementation remains automatically compatible also to future versions of Hadoop. And last but not least, it, we do not require any additional software on the cluster, nor any changes to the cluster, which means you can run these programs out of the box on every Hadoop cluster, or you can even run the cluster, for example, on Amazon EC2. So if you are interested in our project, then please feel free to visit us at the posters and demo session of the ISWC in Sydney on the 23rd of October. And we're looking forward to seeing you in Sydney.